Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do a short little ASMR reading for water, air, fire, and earth. So we will take a look and see what their energies are towards you. If you want to skip a sign, there should be a chapter or a link in the description box so you can go right to the sign you're interested in hearing about. And enjoy! Okay, Virgo, let's take a look at this King of Pentacles, Earth sign, masculine or feminine energy. So this King of Pentacles, Virgo, this person is very stable. They come across to me as someone who is solid, solid, practical, and very wise. They're very smart. They may be an investor, very businesslike. Um, not mm, maybe not very warm and affectionate until they feel they can trust someone but they're definitely a very sensual person um, they feel things they're the type of person that they can tell you um, that they might even have some psychic abilities they they feel vibes they feel that they have that earth energy and i'm sure you understand that being a virgo um, this person obviously is an earth sign could be a taurus capricorn or another virgo um, this person is um, they come across to me as very domesticated they like routine they like order this person enjoys very much to work um, they might even be considered a workaholic um, in their lives. Other people might tell them this. They definitely prioritize finances, their career, um, their money, creating a stable home environment, um, always have lots of food in the fridge, in the cabinets. They probably have tons of rolls of toilet paper, excess of things that they may need. Um, they're the person when there's a disaster or some uh, tower moment happens, um, people run to them because they are very stable and calm and, and quite secure. Um, uh, this person is very interested in, you know, studying. They like to learn. Um, uh, they enjoy to work. I will tell you that. And they're very generous, though. They're very giving, and they're open to receiving as well. They have, um, in their love relationships, a desire for long-term security. Now, in regards to you, Virgo, um, I feel like this person is really hoping that you will um, accept love from them or any offers that they make towards you because I do see them um, making love offers. I feel like they're very picky about who they make or who they set their sights on and when it comes to you um, I feel like this person is quite apathetic to others that try to get their attention or seek to be with them. They, they're very selective, but there's something you have, they see a star quality in you. Um, for some of you, this could be a, re, a renewal of a relationship with this person, but I feel like they look at you as someone who, maybe uh, you're a performer, or you're someone in the spotlight, or you have the potential to be that. You're, they see you as being quite different from them in a lot of ways okay um you might be very spiritual and they, they if you are that it's something that they pick on or pick up about you now i do feel like they look at you as like you're some kind of alien <laughs> or in in a good way though like uh, like you're like meeting this person or connecting with this person for them um you might have if you know them have refused to connect with them maybe you are selective yourself um, they do see that you have options or other options a uh, love options in your life and there's some type of familiarity they pick up in you when it comes to um, connecting I feel like this person thinks you look really great in a bathing suit <laughs> or in your trunks i don't know what that means but i i get a sense that this person they do have they're very attracted to you physically as well and um i don't know there's something about you that gives them hope or inner clarity about who they are as a person now i will tell you that um they're they have a lot of f faith 
I'm hearing a lot of faith in you as far as your abilities and what you are able to do with your life. Um, they come across to me as someone who's a big supporter of you, uh, whatever it is that you set out to do. They know that you're no nonsense and they know that you um, mean business when it comes to who you choose to have in your life. And they are truly hoping that you will choose them for a date or some type of relationship. Now, I will say that this King of Pentacles, this earth sign, we should say, they're, they're kind of like a slow moving earth. I feel like this person, they do have their eye on you and they are watching and waiting uh, to see when the opportunity if an opportunity arises for them to reach out to you. So if you know who this person is, you may think that they're not interested um, or that they're too busy, but you know, while they are sitting down at their computer doing their tasks, they're also peeking at you somehow. So it could be like online. Um, and I feel like if you get a sense if you know who this is that they're not making any moves towards you i i feel like um they're just pausing they're waiting with the hanged man it feels more so that this person um they're so it's like they're checking you out in some way to see um they're not looking through a funnel they're i don't know they just said background check perhaps doing some kind of background check um, talking to friends or seeing who you're hanging out with or who you're chit-chatting with. Yeah, um, I get a feeling that this person is more along the lines of they want to invest in you, but they want to be 100% sure that you are available if you, if you are turning down other offers, right? Rather than just coming out and asking you, if you're available, <laughs> it's more along the lines of they want to make the assessment on their own first before getting any confirmation from you. Um, yeah, Virgo, I feel like this person is, um, they're seeking some kind of truth about you and what you are doing in your life. I, I do get a sense that um, they do have a lot to offer. But I feel like they also may feel like you might not be interested in them because they are kind of maybe seem boring or mundane. Um, this King of Pentacles is not one of those fast-talking, free-spirited, uh, prince or princess charming type of energy this person is more reliable they're patient they're a hard worker they're they're there for the long haul they're you know um there th there's not a lot of passion that comes with this king of pentacles and even though they may try to be in that energy they're often not they're often quite calm and a bit reserved and a bit quiet at times as well they this person is very much an observer they they take their time they step back they wait and they watch to see so th there's a little bit of judgment from this person um so before they make a decision to invest in someone they want to see if that person that they want to invest in which would be you is a good catch which you know some of you are um but in their mind they want to make sure it's kind of like they use a very practical approach to relationships and they um they're looking at your behavior if you are online like social media they might even looking at your credit score virgo i mean you know this person is very 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 picky and um it's because they don't want to fail they want to make the right investment and they are hoping that if they do reach out to you and they've decided that you are the one for them, which I feel like they are going to find that, that out, that you are the one for them. Um, they're hopeful that either you and they can have a renewal of a relationship if this is someone you knew before or if you guys 
can have some type of um, some good start to a long-term committed relationship. Now, I'm not exactly sure how you might feel about this person. You might feel, you know, like the hair is up on the back of your neck that this person's watching you and trying to figure you out, but you may not be 100% sure. But I can tell you, as they're in the hanged man where they're kind of pulled back and they're really not doing anything, they're just still, it's because they're checking you out, Virgo. Yes, they are definitely so going forward you will hear from this person um and if you want to reply and that's something that you're interested in well you got to do you chicky or chucky whoever's listening to this reading but i definitely feel like they're very very hopeful and will become more so as they seek out to understand uh, this person wants something long term Okay, Virgo, we're going to take a look at the fire, the king of wands, masculine or feminine energy. So let me tell you something, Virgo. This king of wands, passionate, passionate lover. This king of wands is very charming and courageous. You may see this king of wands or view them as someone who's a go-getter, confident, self-assured, definitely an alpha energy. Um, someone who's bold. This person does not seem to care what other people think of them um, to the point where they are the sun. The world revolves around them. <laughs> um, and I feel like this King of Wands has a very warm, loving, passionate, more so passionate energy. This King of Wands is like a cat they enjoy it's like a lion they enjoy to be thought of as the one that everyone and anyone can go to for advice or to be part of a team this person is usually the quarterback of the team or the ceo of the company um or center stage uh, some may enjoy a lot of attention um, but they're also very wise and intelligent as well. Um, at times it can be a bit feisty. Uh, they can clap back at times, but, um, I don't feel like this King of Wands has the intention to hurt other people. It's just that they feel like they are deserving. They feel like they are royalty in a lot of ways that they might have a little sense of ego or entitlement at times, but not so much in their older years. Now, let me just tell you, this King of Wands, wow. Well, there is an energy, they, they do have self-control and moderation. I will tell you that. And I will tell you that they're a leader and they do represent someone who's a good parent. If they have children, they are very focused on their children. They love them. They like care for them like little cubs. Um, and I also feel like they're intrigued with success and they're also intrigued with your success. Virgo, this King of Wands is marriage commitment minded they enjoy the terms of a relationship. They feel things, relationships, marriage, commitment should be structured in a way that is equal to all. And this person, they're very conventional and they do have conventional expectations. And when you are in a relationship with them, they expect you to conform to the rules of engagement if you're going to play with this person in any kind of or on any kind of field there are rules and regulations they are not going to play the referee <laughs> this is their energy now this person this king of wands has had heartbreak 
lack of fulfillment in their past, in past relationships, perhaps another relationship they were in or a marriage has fallen to the wayside. This person, this king of wands, like I said, masculine or feminine, has a lot of regret and remorse. They feel abandoned, unloved. They feel like whomever they were with could have been a Taurus. They feel like that person was not practicing the rules of engagement in a relationship. So maybe there was some cheating or a third party affair, whatever might have happened. They do, I feel like this King of Wands at this time is licking their wounds right now. Definitely licking their wounds. But they do have their eye on you, Virgo, with the Nine of uh, Pentacles there. They see you. <laughs> Well, that's your card, Virgo. They see you as someone who is luxurious, gorgeous, handsome, independent. They are very attracted to you. To you. They like what you represent. Stability, financial independence. They're attracted to your ability to enjoy your life solo or single and this person sees a future with you this fire sign they see long term they're looking at you yes they feel like they can build something with you family uh, maybe even a business They feel they could retire with you and be happy. I see this image of that they have of you and they sitting on a, it looks like you're on a beach, but you're on maybe like a, a deck enjoying mimosas together and reveling in the luxuries of life and the happiness and, and having that stability and structure and family and, um, enjoying games together and, and, and doing, um, taking trips together, going places, doing things together that bring happiness and fulfillment, cooking together. They see you as a plus one. And I don't see any bad intentions with this King of Wands. I feel like they have their eye on you. They even see you guys going into business together. Virgo, I feel like this person sees you as their perfect match. And it's more just about commitment, marriage, all of that. They've been there. They've done that. They may have had three marriages or three major relationships that have fallen apart. But there's something different about you. They've never looked at anyone and thought to themselves, I could build with this person, like a power couple. They never looked at it like that. They just kind of looked at it like, okay, whomever I'm with is just going to, I'm going to put them in this role and they're just going to fulfill the promises and abide by the rules and regulations. They're not looking at you in that way. They're looking at you in a way which, which, which is more like going from the, like they think you're, you're a 10 for sure, but they think egotistically you're a 9, but with them you both can be a 10. <laughs> so, and, and I don't see them making a move towards you just yet, but I do see this person envisioning what could happen between the two of you or how things could go or move forward in your lives together. Now, is this someone you know, maybe? Is this someone you don't know? Perhaps. Have you met them yet? Maybe not. They're uh, very practical-minded when they look at you, you know? Um, not. I feel like this person is maybe grieving a bit also over old traditional ways. In other words, they, they're they letting go 
to some degree of like having to have a person fit into a role, so to speak. It's not so much about what another person can do for them, but what they can do for you, Virgo. And they're looking at how they can bring something to the table and make your life better. I mean, that's pretty cool, Virgo, how they can contribute to what you've already built. And they are confident enough, they are, that they think that they can, that they think that they have a lot to offer you. And if you're a solo entrepreneur, they want to get and be a part of that and help create and build something amazing with you. But the Ten of Pentacles is a card of marriage, but it's not the type of um, long-term commitment where they put you categorically in a box. This is more like, what can we just keep adding? What kind of legacy can we live or leave together here? What can we build? They feel like with you, they would inherit everything. <laughs> Even all your riches, Virgo, if you have them. So pretty good, Virgo, pretty good. All right, we're going to take a look at the sword energy, king of swords, masculine or feminine, air sign in regards to you. So Virgo, this king of swords is a very intentional person. They say what they mean. There is no skimping words. They're direct. They are clear, clear cut, crystal clear. They try very hard. Well, not to be offensive. They're not... They're not um, overly warm, but this person is kind of cool, like maybe even is like a cool cat, so to speak. They kind of have this energy of someone who um, they don't really, it's, it's, they don't try to be offensive, um, but they are totally honest. So they're quite candid um, in their speech uh, and very strategic. So the things that they say to you, are meant to get your goat, you know? It's the things they say are meant to stimulate you in some way, give you food for thought. But as far as their actions and intentions, Virgo, I feel like this, this air sign, I feel like they are looking to change their life and they want very much to have some type of a life with you, okay? With that Nine of Cups, I feel like this person, you're like a wish come true for them <laughs> in many ways. And they are intent to talk to you and to tell you this. I mean, I see this King of Swords moving really quickly with their words talking to you you may receive a message or some communication from this king of swords that they want you and they want to be with you they sit there with the moon and this person has some deep-seated insecurities and some secrets i feel like this person this air sign is struggling they could be struggling financially but they could also be in a poverty mindset where they're nothing without you and they feel like they're nothing without you. And this is something that I feel like they have kept this deep down within. Like I said, this, this air sign doesn't generally show their emotions. Um, I mean, they do show anger. <laughs> they can, they can have the tendency to It's kind of like cold empathy. Um, they empathize, but in a very cold way. So it almost comes across as if this person doesn't have any emotions or feelings at times, just at times. But I feel like this person, this air sign, is um, they're ill. They worry, and they're worried deeply that you're not going to... Um, want to be with them. I feel like this person is struggling without you at this time. And for some of you, it might be just like, oh, that's awesome. Or, uh, you know, who cares? 
it really just depends on who you are if you're dealing with this air sign. But um, they're very financially, they could be very financially dependent on you. They don't want to show it. I feel like this air sign has a lot of pride. And I also feel like they're seeking your help in some way. You bring the medicine, Virgo. <laughs> you bring some kind of medicine to this person. You've got everything and they see that. Virgo, they see that you are the type of person where when you set out to do something, you just do it. You don't get distracted. You focus on what it is you need to do and you get the job done. And you make your dreams come true. You make your wishes come true. Material wealth. You do your very best to be in good health and have that abundance mindset. And they want that. There's something about you, Virgo, that this air sign believes is just incredible. And they feel a sense of lack without you without you and if they're in a relationship with someone else it's a struggle and they're not showing that they won't they have this pride about them and even though they have a tendency to be self-sufficient they they aren't right now they're struggling but they are showing up to you as like they got it all together. They're cool, calm, and collected. But that's not really the truth. The truth is you are a wish come true for them. You are the person that they feel makes them the happiest. That gives them a sense of comfort and warmth and life. And they, like I said, they kind of act like, oh, no, they're fine. They don't really need Virgo. But that's, a, that's all hidden. That's that hidden energy with the moon. And you might have a little bit of a sense of this, these hidden, mysterious secrets that they keep. Virgo, you know somewhere deep down that this person, although they, they could if they really tried, they really can't, and you know that they need your help. But you um, wouldn't dare say that to them. There might be a little bit of ego with this person. And you don't want to rock the boat, so to speak. Um, and just because someone is totally honest doesn't mean they're going to admit something. Okay? Um, and I'm hearing you might ask them how they're doing. And they'll say, oh, I'm doing great. Um, but they will reveal a little bit... By saying, well, I'm doing great, but if, if I was in this other particular position or if I were with you, I'd probably be doing better. That's kind of a sign that they're not doing as great as they claim. So this person wants things to change in their life. If they're with someone else, that other person may be just not happy with them. If they're not with someone else, uh, they're not happy on their own. And I see this air sign coming towards you. Um, they might be, I'm, right now I'm hearing an airplane. I don't know if you could hear it. There's a plane flying over or, um, yeah, it's pretty loud. So they may be flying to you by plane <laughs> or maybe a helicopter um, coming in your direction. I don't know, Virgo, it just feels like this person, they want to be with you desperately. They feel a bit lonely, cold. They may have even been left out in the cold by someone. They're losing hope. They have this lack of faith. Um, they feel isolated. They may even have some financial loss. But they feel isolated and alone. They need you. You bring them complete joy and happiness. If this is someone that you were with before, Virgo, it looks like this person is coming to terms with this, getting real with themselves, because they're honest with others, they're getting honest with themselves, or with themselves, this air sign about, you know, there's so much cold energy 
with the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, the Moon, and the Five of Pentacles. And look at you there at the left with the Nine of Cups. Warmth, generosity. You might be even a little bit smug, Virgo, when they come towards you. A little bit like, hmm, I told you so. <laughs> I told you. Virgo, you know you can put throw a dig in now and then. I knew it. I knew you were, you thought you were going to go out there on your own and try to be, you know, oh, I'm fine. Everything's great. I'm really, Virgo, you know, whether or not you should accept this, I don't know. That's up to you. But they're definitely heading your way, heading in your direction. When? Oh, it could be tomorrow. It could be sometime before the year ends, but they're definitely going to be coming towards you to get their wishes fulfilled. Well, that sounds kind of opportunistic. And while the King of Swords, the air sign can be a bit opportunistic, it's more than that. They may even feel like there's a little regret with them. Um... They're definitely feeling abandoned or unloved, and no one can love someone better than a Virgo, right? Virgo, <clears throat> you have a King of Cups whom is very curious about you. They're watching you, maybe looking at your social media, looking at you in out in the world, doing your thing, wanting to know kind of what you're up to Virgo they have a lot of questions and they're a little bit on guard you may receive some communication from this person asking you questions like where you've been who you're talking to are you talking to anyone else or at all do you have other interests How's your job? How is your family? A lot of questions and communication coming through. They're definitely looking to see. They have their guard up though. Um, I feel like this person's a little bit paranoid. And their questions are a bit intrusive. Now, the biggest thing that I'm picking up with this reading is this King of Cups is a bit of a self-sabotager. Uh, low self-esteem, feeling trapped, may even play the victim at times, and it feels like they feel sorry for themselves. Why? Um, there's an energy of like this person needs a lot of love and attention this person has an inability to create that love from within for themselves. And so they seek that from others. And I also feel like they are questioning why you're not loving up on them. Why you are not making love offers to them. Why you are not praising them, loving them. And it's making them feel with the Eight of Swords, kind of stuck and trapped. They're having almost to the point of a mental breakdown. And with a little bit of paranoia, I feel like this person, they believe that if you are not giving them love, you must be giving love to someone else. And maybe you are, Virgo, maybe you're not. But their insecurity and low self-esteem drives them to that immediately maybe it's just that virgo is just living their life maybe virgo you don't feel the need to um, appease someone's insecurity or sense of self and maybe you do give love to a king of cups masculine or feminine but the minute you're not doing that, they begin questioning within themselves, hmm, who's Virgo talking to? Who has Virgo got in their life? 
what are they doing? Where are they? Why are they not bringing that Knight of Cups energy to me? Why are they not romancing me? Why are they not giving, giving, giving? This person comes across to me here in this spread as someone who's like an empty soul. They have a difficult time generating that love from within. They need it externally in order to feel better about themselves. Now, Virgo, I believe that it's not your job to fill the empty space of someone's heart. Of course, no matter how much love you give, how much romance, how much affection you give to this person, it it's almost to the point where it's draining. It will never be enough. And the minute that you take a step back to care for yourself, this person will then seek it out elsewhere because they they have this difficulty of generating it within self. So they externally seek to have praise and warmth and love and comfort and affection and to be loved. Do you see the King of Cups there with the Eight of Swords? So they sabotage relationships that have the potential to give them all that they need because they're empty. Because they just have this, it's something in their mental where they can't, they, they can't directly ask for it. They just put themselves in the position to receive, but they don't really initiate. And if they understood that Virgo's love is divine and nurturing and has everything that they could want um, or need, they would still sabotage it because Virgo, unfortunately, nobody can give 24-7. And so I feel like this person is extremely codependent, maybe a people pleaser. Uh, they'll do anything to receive, but they, they give to get. Now, I know this sounds like um, a very difficult reading for some, it might be, but it might also be a confirmation for those of you who are giving and giving and giving and giving and you're giving too much in a relationship and not really getting much in return. And if that is your situation, Virgo, it's really important that you take that step back and ask yourself, are you draining your own energy and resources by trying to keep someone happy, someone else happy. You are allowed to take your time for yourself to regenerate your own sense of self, to love yourself, to give to yourself, to be happy with yourself. And if someone feels like you're not giving enough, perhaps it's really them who's not giving to themselves, who's not loving themselves. You can lead a horse to water, Virgo, but you cannot make someone drink. And if your love that you give, your energy to someone is not enough, that's their problem, not yours. And they have to find a way to seek source, a higher being, if they feel so tormented. Otherwise, if they don't, they will seek it externally, constantly from other people. This person does not like the thoughts that they have in their head about you giving your love to another or to yourself. There may be a bit of envy, but they also keep their feelings to themselves so they secretly watch and they hide. They won't come out directly and say to you, why aren't you loving me? Why aren't you here for me? They might for some, but I don't generally pick that up with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is generally someone who wears a mask or who keeps their deepest feelings to themselves, but they're watching you. And the minute they sense that you're giving your love to another person, even if it's just friendly, they immediately go into this deep, dark place and they disappear and they won't speak to you. And they'll give you the silent treatment, almost as a punishment for something that they make up in their head. And you, Virgo, cannot be in a position to 
band-aid that for that person obviously they need to get themselves to make themselves feel better by lifting up their own self-esteem so much attention and love and praise from other people will only get you so far when you're loving yourself praising yourself building your own confidence knowing that you're enough and that you're good enough you really don't need to seek out the attention from other people constantly doing that will leave one in like a, a state of chaos because like a candle in the wind some people if we're so dependent on other people's approval when we don't get that approval we immediately think oh we're not good enough so we try to seek it and we try to make it change as if we have something to prove to ourselves but the thing is this person doesn't accept themselves for who they are deep internally you know, the mask yeah, the mask, they're all for that. Oh yeah, everybody loves me. They, they make themselves believe that because of who they pretend to be or who they show themselves to be to others is good enough. But when that mask falls off and they have to sit with themselves, they're scared, they're panicky, they're paranoid. So Virgo, I feel like for you, you keep doing what you do for you. You are not the, the nurse of the world. <laughs> I mean, in a sense, you do like to take care of people, but Virgo, you can't carry someone unless it's a child that's different or an animal. <laughs> but I feel like with this person, Virgo, they're going to keep watching. They're going to keep watching and waiting, maybe talking to other people. They may even say some bad things if you're not around to others. But I feel like this person, they're going to reach out and offer that cup of love to you at some point when they feel at their worst with the Eight of Swords there. But just keep in mind that I feel like this King of Cups, although can be very supportive and loving and nurturing, I feel like the love offers that they make are more for them than they are for you. So I don't know if this person's a narcissist or if they are just extremely beta a people pleaser or something along those lines and i'm very hesitant really to upload this video but i was shuffling the cards and this is what came out and i feel like it's important for you to hear this message focus more on yourself virgo keep staying focused on you being happy fulfilling yourself as best as you can and if you're looking to see who this person has giving them love just remember the only love that they're accepting from others is superficial because it just it just goes into this dark hole it's like empty and it just keeps going and going and they need that constant fill up it has nothing to do with you their attention seeking is it's it's just never ending so let them go let them have at it they're going to do what they need to do you can't fix them you can't change that person yeah so best of luck hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye